Welcome to an application of composition of functions. The number of bacteria in a refrigerated food product is given by n of big T equals 25 times the square of big T minus 78 big T plus four, where big T is greater than three and less than 33, and big T is the temperature of the food. When the food is removed from the refrigerator, the temperature is given by big T of little t equals five times little t plus 1.3, where little t is the time in hours. Number one, we're asked to find the composition function n of big T of little t. To begin, we replace big T of little t with the function rule, five times little t plus 1.3. This becomes the input for the function n, which indicates wherever we see a big T, we now replace it with five times little t plus 1.3. This gives us 28 times the square of five times little t plus 1.3 minus 78 times the quantity five times little t plus 1.3 plus four. And now we need to simplify. The square of the quantity five times little t plus 1.3 indicates we have two factors of the quantity five times little t plus 1.3. So the next step, we multiply the two binomials, which I've shown in red above. Notice we do have four products and combining like terms, 6.5 times little t plus 6.5 times little t gives us 13 times little t. So now we have 28 times the quantity, 25 times the square of little t plus 13 times little t plus 1.69 minus 78 times the quantity, five times little t plus 1.3 plus four. Notice in our final result, we're going to have the function n as a function of little t, where little t is time, rather than a function of big t, where big t is the temperature of the food. And now we clear the parentheses by distributing we distribute 28 here and negative 78 here. This gives us 700 times the square of little t plus 364 times little t plus 47.32. And then distributing negative 78, we have minus 390 times little t minus 101.4, and then we still have plus four. Finally, we combine like terms and get the final result of 700 times the square of little t minus 26 times little t minus 50.08. This is our composition of functions, which again now gives us the function n as a function of little t rather than as a function of big T. Number two, we're asked to find the time when the bacteria count reaches 6,000, which we can now do because we have the function n, the number of bacteria, as a function of little t, where little t is time in hours. To answer the question, we substitute 6,000 for n of big T of little t, which gives us the equation 6,000 equals 700 t squared minus 26 t minus 50.08. Notice we do have a quadratic equation. Let's go ahead and set it equal to zero by subtracting 6,000 on both sides. From here, we'll have to use the quadratic formula. Let's do this on the next slide. To apply the quadratic formula, we have a equals 700, b equals negative 26, and c equals negative 6,050.08. Below we have the values subbed into the quadratic formula, and now we simplify. The opposite of negative 26 simplifies to positive 26. The discriminant or expression under the square root simplifies to 16,940,900, and our denominator is 1,400. Remember we do have two solutions here, one where we have a sum, and one where we have a difference. Evaluating these in the calculator, we have t equals approximately 2.9585, and t is approximately negative 2.9214. We know time can't be negative, and therefore our solution is approximately 2.9585 hours, which indicates it will take approximately 2.9585 hours for the bacteria count to reach 6,000. I hope you found this helpful.